Well, hello again. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I have something, uh, I don't know, kind of kind of in my wheelhouse, something uh, that piques my interest. Somebody donated this uh, 2015 MacBook Air to the channel, and uh, it actually came with a bunch of stuff missing inside and no case screws, but uh, and also no charger. So I have purchased... Um, a Wi-Fi card, uh, an adapter to go to use a, a regular NVMe. And of course, I didn't have a charger for it. So the plan is, let's put those parts in. And uh, I want to actually um, see how usable this is in uh, 2024 using Windows 11. So yeah, let's just get this going. And for Windows 11, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a repack. It's kind of a uh, stripped down version. I'll, I'll show you uh, uh, on the actual website once we get going here. But uh, yeah, let's get set up and let's uh, have a look at the inside of this MacBook and put these parts in and get rocking and rolling. Okay, this is the uh, this is the repack um, Windows 11 version that I'm running. It's Windows X Lite. I've actually been using this on an older laptop for a little bit, and um, so far, so good. Uh, it definitely does what it says it's supposed to do. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I like it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a shot on the, uh, on the MacBook, and um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So the other thing that I'm using is uh, Brigadier, and this will download drivers specifically uh, tailored for that MacBook, and um, you just run it in the in the OS, and it will connect to the Apple servers, and it'll pull the drivers for that MacBook. So um, you'll get a folder, and inside of that folder will be the boot camp, and inside of there will be the setup. You can run that and then it'll go through the process of uh, installing all the drivers for the hardware. Well, it should, so we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll, uh, I've run Bootcamp um, manually on another Mac a while back uh, with Windows 10. Actually, it was, a, uh, it was an iMac and uh, it worked good. So I don't see why this wouldn't work for the uh, MacBook Air. But uh, yeah, anyway, it'll, the Sprigadier will connect. It will figure out what kind of Mac you have. It'll download the drivers and uh, just put them all in here. And then it'll, you can come back later and run the, uh, the setup. Anyway, yeah, so let's uh, get that hardware in that Mac and uh, yeah, we'll move on. Okay, so I've got the uh, top down view. So let's have a look here. This is the state of the MacBook that as I got it, all the case screws are missing. I do have a, uh, I do have a um, package of screws coming from eBay, but they, they didn't arrive in time um, for this video. And then of course I did uh, purchase um, this uh, Wi-Fi adapter and well, I think it's Bluetooth as well. And this little, NVMe adapter because the Mac, of course, you know, Apple, they use a proprietary connection. So this standard NVMe wouldn't work. And then I needed a way to charge this thing. So um, basically the Wi-Fi adapter goes here. The NVMe goes here. Other than that, this thing's pretty clean. Um, I think the battery's okay. I did have this running on a, on a, um, live Linux version just for a while, just testing it out, checking, make sure it didn't overheat and everything worked. And that seemed to be okay. So yeah, let's get this, um, let's get this little adapter connected. So we just push this adapter in good. And then our, this is a, I believe it's a 256. Uh, actually doesn't seem to say. Anyway, I think it's a 256. That's good enough for this. Push that there, and then that lines up. Uh, 
get this little tiny screw. These are such a pain in the butt sometimes. I know I realize I'm probably putting my hands over right where you need to see, but you get the idea. Okay, NVMe's in. And uh, oh, this still has its screw as well. Get that out. Let's put this Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth card in. Good. And then these things are always so freaking finicky. And now the fun part, these microscopic connectors that I can hardly even see. Okay, there's one. Good. If you don't quite get it perfect, there we go. It just does not go on. Okay, so yeah, that's basically what was missing. I mean, obviously the case screws, but I've got a I got a package of screws coming. And so we've got what we need inside. Let's button this thing back up. There's a little um, clip right in the center that actually holds this on. So, you know, you can flip it over and it doesn't fall off. But I got the case screws coming. And that'll put that back together real nice. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna change from the top down view and um, we'll get this thing connected to power. And uh, yeah, let's um, move on installing Windows 11 on this 2015 MacBook Air. Okay, so here we go. Got the MacBook uh, connected to power and uh, I've got a uh, Windows 11, uh, the X Lite version. Uh, used Rufus to uh, make this. So let's connect that. And uh, what we'll do is uh, just power this down. Oh, it just actually, I didn't have to. <laughs> it's funny. Normally what you would do is you would just hold option when the, uh, when the Mac powers up and uh, you'll, you'll see a menu like you, um, a boot menu basically so it must have recognized this uh once i plugged it in so that's fine we'll just leave it as is all right so here's the uh x light uh splash screen for the installer and uh i'm going to do um i'm going to do the uh, defender off um if you go to the website the x light website and you read about their um, different versions uh, they've got Windows 10, Windows 11. Um, the Defender Off option um, is more, even more lightweight. So you can free up some resources on uh, even older equipment. So since this is what, uh, so 2015, so it was like nine years old, I'm going to just leave Defender Off. Um, I can always just put a, like a Vast Free or something on if I really, really care. But uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, there's the, uh, it is a 250 gig. So there's the uh, NVMe. I had uh, previously blanked this in my PC. I just did a disk part and I cleaned, I cleaned it. And so we can just click next. And this is just a standard Windows installation. I mean, there's nothing really to see from this point on. It's uh, no different than any other installation. So I'll just uh, bring you back once we uh, get into the actual OS. Okay, here we go. The uh, Windows install is actually done. So now we have to uh, run the boot camp setup. Um, <clears throat> normally what you would do is, uh, for uh, on a MacBook, is you would, you would go for Brigadier. You would run Brigadier XE. Um, sort of like a command prompt window will open up and it'll basically state detecting your uh, your Mac and then it'll begin to download um, the various drivers for that actual Mac. Now, having said that, this uh, MacBook doesn't have any way to connect to the internet. So Brigadier isn't actually going to be useful for you right now. So you have a couple of options. Um, you can find out what is the Wi-Fi um, chip in your system. So in this, in this one here, it's a Broadcom something. 
And uh, you could go and download the drivers on a PC or another Mac or whatever, just from like literally the Broadcom site and uh, <clears throat> put them on your USB stick and install them and get connected to Wi-Fi and then come back here and run Brigadier and it would be fine. I don't actually need to do that because I actually already have them. So I'm just going to go into the into the boot camp folder and I'm going to run setup. And uh, this will go ahead and install all the drivers required uh, to get all this hardware up and running. And we can actually just open up our device manager. And as this installer is doing its thing, we should start to see these all disappear. Okay, apparently the uh, storage on my camera was full and <laughs> stopped recording right in the middle of the driver install. I didn't even notice. Um, but anyway, back to the device manager. Oops, if I could spell it correctly. Um, once the installer finishes, there we go. We have a completely clean device manager. Um, we also have right click functionality on the trackpad, which, you know, on Apple, it's two, fin two fingers gets you a, a right click menu. So yeah, there you go. There's basically uh, Windows 11 on a 2015 MacBook Air. So cool thing about the um, X Lite, um, it's pretty stripped down. It doesn't um, update unless you want it to. And you can also just do manual update packs. Um, it doesn't even include a browser. So if you go into uh, extras and info, you can go to web browser installers. And uh, let's say we'll just put Chrome on as an example. So it'll get that going. And then, of course, um, if you look at the uh, keyboard here, Actually, you can just back out a little bit, I think would be nice. Um, you've got your screen brightness controls are working. And yes, I know you can't connect to the internet because I haven't done it yet. Uh, you've also got your um, audio is working just fine. Uh, you've got your keyboard brightness level is working you probably can't see that on the display because the uh, oh maybe you can uh, you can see the light peeking out from the space bar there so essentially it's fully functional with the boot camp drivers the device manager is completely clean and uh i think it looks pretty good did chrome finish installing i don't know i think it might have crashed but, um, oh, yeah, of course we're getting, um, <laughs> duh, of course we're getting an error with this. I don't have a network connection. So here, let me just connect to, uh, let me just connect to my, uh, my Wi-Fi. We are connected, and now we can run the Chrome installer. Okay, there you go. There's Chrome installed <clears throat> in the, um, in the uh, X-Lite uh, extras. There's some other things you can do as well. Um, printing is disabled by default. There's some guides and stuff in there. Um, there's some registry stuff you can do. Um, you can change your, um, by default, it's just admin. That's the user account. So you can go here, you can change the user's name, you can give it a password. There's a 2015 macbook air running windows 11 all drivers installed um, the computer itself was free to me i think i spent between the wi-fi card um the little nvme adapter and the charger i think i was just right around 50 bucks canadian um and i think this is a nice little machine that um 
you know, if you want to just sit on the couch or whatever. Um, I do have a big ThinkPad laptop, um, you know, the 15-inch one, but uh, it's pretty heavy. And then, of course, the air intake is at the bottom, so you can't stick it on your lap or you can't put it on a whatever because you're, you know, you're suffocating the thing. These MacBooks are nice because they, they kind of suck air through the top and the back a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's awesome. It's working good. All right. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, you're a rock star. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you find any value in these videos whatsoever, why don't you go ahead and smash that subscribe button, potentially like the video if you, uh, if you liked it. And, um, yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next one.